Hello, so it is Wednesday, September 30th, and I'm here to start my JLA vlog for reading the Lux series for the first time. Um, I am still in the middle of her Wicked trilogy, which I'm liking. That's like an urban fae hunting trilogy. Hi, Kevin. My puppy's here. Um, but I decided since I'm reading the last one on Kindle, then I'm just gonna like use that as my lunch break book and read it slowly over time because I really, really want to start this, especially now that October's starting. I feel like it's the perfect time to read a spooky alien romance. And this is supposed to be like trashy YA romance, but like good. And I mean, it's JLA, so. And JLA means Jennifer L. Armitrout, the author's name. I, um, for context for this vlog, I read her book From Blood and Ash and the sequel and the third one was just announced. It's coming in April and I just loved it so much. I'm like, I need to check out everything she's ever done and so many people have said such good things about the Lux series. Hi, baby. Oh, he booked me. He booked me on my face. And so I'm just, I just, I don't know. I haven't been in the mood to read the last few days, but like I just thought about reading. And I just got really, really excited to read. So I'm gonna start this tonight. Um, so I have the first two books, which is technically the first four books. I'm gonna try to read them. And then will I be ambitious? And also say I'm gonna read the White Hot Kiss trilogy? Perhaps, um, this might be a separate vlog, but I'm just gonna like vlog my experience reading everything from this author that I can. And so that's why I haven't posted like an October TBR or anything like that because this is what I've been doing. And it's October and she reads like a lot of, she writes like a lot of urban paranormal stuff. So I feel like aliens and like all that kind of, she has some vampire ones. So I might check out that series before I pick the Boy Hot Kiss one. But I don't know, it just seems like the kind of year to be reading her books since they are very paranormal based. And yeah, like I said, I'm still enjoying the Wicked trilogy just because it's on my Kindle. I really just feel like in the mood to read a physical book because I've been reading on the Kindle so much for reading that series. So I'm just going to be reading that when I'm at work and I have my lunch break. I usually just read on my Kindle. So I'll be reading it then or like kind of intermixed with this because those books are like pretty fast to read as well. They're only like 300 something pages and like they're new adult paranormal romance. Those kinds of books tend to read pretty quickly for me. So with that being said, this is the start of my vlog. Where, oh my God, he is taking my zipper down. No. The start of my vlog for reading the Lux series for the first time. So it's 2 a.m. I started the first book in the Lux series, Obsidian, at 8 p.m. And I just finished it in a single sitting. When is the last time that I did that with a book? I do not recall, honestly. Um, that was so good. <sighs> yeah, um, trash for Jennifer L. Armand Travel Liquor books. Or I finished that in a day. It's like, so basically, this girl Katie, <laughs> one interesting name, um, runs a book blog and she loves books. That does not sound familiar at all. Um, anyways, so she moves into this new house in West Virginia and then her neighbors are like kind of suspicious and the guy, it's twins, and the guy, he's kind of a jerk, but he's hot. And then she becomes a with her sister and then like things are just not adding up and they're aliens. I have not read um why alien like i think the last one i probably read is like i am number four like way back in the day that's the only other why alien book i can think of but i remember i saw a tweet the other day and it's like can we discuss how no one does why aliens because jennifer l armentrout has that trope in a chokehold and like oof, just like the way the aliens were done like it was just so compulsively readable which is why i just i didn't stop reading like if there, like, wasn't, like, if it wasn't, like, a break because it was a, a break with your book, because oh, it's a bind up, like, I would just read the whole thing. I mean, like, I do have to get up for work in the morning, but, and I knew that I was really tired today, and I didn't nap like I usually do, and I was going to go to bed early, and then this happened, but worth it. So good. So good. So, um, maybe I'll read the whole second book tomorrow. And the third bind up was out of stock on Amazon when I looked the other day and it was $50. I'm like, no. But 
and I just checked and it's back in stock but there's only two left in stock so you know I clicked that buy now button because I'm gonna need it but yeah I'm going to visit family this weekend so like I probably won't be able to do like a full like, probably not do that much reading because I'll be busy but when I get back like I feel like I'm just going to fly through this series like it was just I was just really in the mood to read tonight this book sucked me in. I don't know, just something about her books are just so readable. They're so readable. And then I think tomorrow at work, um, when I have lunch, I will probably read more of Brave, which is the last book in the Wicked trilogy, which I am also very much enjoying. I'm just like so excited to be on this kick of a new author that I really enjoy and you know I need some books to replace my Harry Potter shelf because I'm planning to move those into my closet and then probably move the books to storage with my parents like eventually because I don't want to get rid of them but I don't really want them like taking up space and I already have limited space you know so that's my thought process but I can replace them with my Jennifer L. Armadrop books so it's 2 a.m. Let me take the doggy out to pee before bed and then I'm gonna need a nap tomorrow when I get up from work and then I'm gonna start Onyx. I'm excited. This is, I'm just like so excited. Like it's been so long since I've just sat and just finished a book like in one go. I love that so much. I'm so excited. Ugh. Wow. This just makes me feel good. We're off to a strong start here in the Lux reading vlog for sure. I'm recording in live at 1 a.m. in the morning to say that I just finished this bind up of the first um, two books in the Lux series, which is six books total. And this is Obsidian and Onyx, and it's so good. Just something about it is just so readable and i just get like so into the story i don't want to put the book down like is it the best written thing ever no but it's still really good and like just the emotions between the characters and the drama it's so good and i've never read an alien book before i think that like it's really fun and um jennifer l armatron clearly owns the alien trope for YA because I don't think anyone's even attempted aliens since then and like it's just like alien romance and yeah I'm so so happy about my decision to basically stand Jennifer L. Armitrout and binge read all of her books so I mean basically these two books I read the first one in a day and I read the second one in two days because I was away this weekend so I didn't like get a chance to read and I'm gonna start the next one tomorrow and I feel like I'm just addicted to them and i just want to keep reading them i'm just gonna read through this series so fast but honestly it's just so fun and it's just really nice when you have a series it's really easy to read and you get through it fast and you like don't want to put it down because it's just so good at sucking you in so yes i mean like the drama is just like i don't know like you just gotta read it i feel like you gotta experience it so yeah i am hopefully gonna start the next book tomorrow and i'm just super excited to be really into reading i think after this series i'm just gonna move on to the spin-off series for the lux and um like, so does that mean like i should order them on amazon like right now but what if i see the summaries and i'm spoiled but maybe i'll just order it anyways because <laughs> i'm wet all right it's really late and I want to go to bed, so I'm going to leave this clip now. But yes, the first two books of the Lux series are read. I'm having the time of my life. I'm having a ball. Give me all the alien feels, like the romance, immaculate, like the alien drama, immaculate. I just, I love it all. I love it. So, yes. Okay, so it's... Tuesday now and I have an Amazon package so I just want to open it real quick on camera. Oh no. My exacto knife seems as though it's boosted. I have two books in here and there are two highly anticipated books. So firstly, we have, oh, it's a lot thinner than the other two. We have 
Luxe Opposition, which is the special collect collector's edition. So this is the last book in the Luxe series along with the prequel series. So I think it's like two, two books in one, but like one's a prequel, which is why it's like shorter than the other ones are like huge. This one's still 500 pages though, so. Yeah, and this is the last book that I need for the Lux series that I'm speeding my way through. And then, of course, this came out today, The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue, which I have just, oh my god, it's beautiful. I have just been waiting and waiting for this. Okay, so there's like these crows embossed on the cover, and then you open it up, and it looks like this. Very cool. It's probably like 500 pages. Amazing. I mean, I love a good day of book mail. I really do. And I really stopped getting book mail for a while, but then they cleared out my collection. And there just seems to be more coming out now because a lot of stuff was postponed. So I'm getting book mail again and it just, it boosts my serotonin. Hello. It's honestly been a while since I last turned on my camera. Today is October 16th, I think. And I don't think I have vlogged for the last two weeks because this past weekend we had friends visiting. We were taking them all over Boston. And the weekend before that we were visiting Alex's family. So it was just like a lot and I just didn't have time to read, especially because the weekend is where I do all my reading for the most part. And then if we have people doing stuff, like it just gets crazy two weekends in a row, I was just exhausted. So really have not touched my book. Um, but that being said, I have a three day weekend this weekend and I'm just going to absorb it to the fullest and use it to my advantage. So all I've been doing today on this like Friday on my day off is cleaning because my apartment um, really needed a mess. You can see like there's a bunch of Target bags back there. I went to Target and went a little crazy, but that's how it goes. And I'm just going to be like reorganizing certain areas of my house. It's just like kind of needed. So I think I'm going to like organize a little bit, take a reading break, organize a little bit, take a reading break. And once I'm done organizing, then I'm going to be like organizing and watching YouTube videos back and forth between reading, which is what I really like to do. So I am reading Lux Consequences, which is the second bind up. And I'm on Opal, which is the third in the Lux series. And this is of course my Lux series vlog. So of course I'll be reading in the Lux series. So I honestly like these books go by so so fast. I'm on page 168 and I'm obviously still loving it Like it's just so addicting it flies by and like these books are just like immaculate And I feel like no one talks about them as much like how like good it is even if it's like older YA and like the drama can be like a little Like I don't know, but like I still think it in this day and age like it doesn't read like too cringy or like too anything like it's still just like a lot of fun and i love the romance and like everything and i love the fact that katie is a book blogger like a ya book blogger basically and so she always talks about like her books and like comparing like her life to a book so it's pretty cool and the fact that like no one has really done aliens in ya since this time period like i know that there was like i am number four and was Maze Runner Aliens? No, that was like Apocalypse. I don't even know any other alien book really besides I'm number four. But yeah, Lux Consequences, Alien, Paranormal Romance. Loving it. Love Jennifer L. Armitrout. Oh, they announced the third book in the From Blood and Ash series, which is what started me on this journey. So excited. It comes out in April, just time for my birthday. Oh, and I still haven't read any more of Brave, which is the last one in the Wicked trilogy, which is an Urban Fae trilogy. Um, I need to get back to that. It's just because like at work, like sometimes during lunch, I'll read on my Kindle, but lately during lunch, I've been watching YouTube. So I go back and forth between the two. Um, what I wanted to talk about next is the fact that I have gotten some books and I haven't had a chance to talk about them. So let me haul them in this vlog. Um, in a, a few vlogs ago, I did purchasing like all my books basically for the rest of the year, which of course there's always more, but those were like all my anticipated releases and I put in one big purchase for them. So let's just, let's just talk about what came first. So I think this one arrived first and this actually was sent to me by the publisher. Um, I had expressed interest for an arc, but there were no more. So they said they would send me along a finished copy and I'm so, so grateful. So thank you so much to Hachette for sending this along to me. This is about suffragist, suffragette witches in, the, in 1893. So I think it's going to be really cool. Um, I definitely want to read it at some point too. I have so many books that I want to read, but I've really been on my JLA, you know, thing. Okay. 
Um, I just feel like I really wanted to read so many books this October and then just life got in the way But I feel like this three-day weekend I can just dedicate to reading and it will be a lot of fun I want to finish at least this bind up and the brave Brave which is the last one in the Wicked trilogy and I mean we'll see we'll see what else I get to this weekend um, So then the next thing that came in the mail was the invisible life of Addie LaRue by the e. Schwab, which of course this is when a woman makes a deal with the devil to live forever, but no one can ever remember her. I've been anticipating this book so, so long. I love V.E. Schwab. She's one of my favorite authors. She's my queen. And I, like, this is just the thing, like, I'm getting so caught up with, like, all these books that I want to read. And I just feel like I don't have enough time. But at least the new releases slow down a lot, November, December, January. So I feel like I can start to catch up on the books that I really, really want to read. Um, the next book that I have is... Lightbringer, which is the final book in the Imperium trilogy, which is Furyborn, Kingsbane, and Lightbringer. I actually did want to reread Kingsbane because it was like phenomenal, and I, there's so many details that I want to remember for reading this last book. Um, I love, love this series, and I feel like it's so underappreciated on booktube, but I got Madison to read it, and she loved the first book, so I'm hoping she'll read the second one and the third one. So this is going to be a priority for me definitely soon, but I like King's Bane, and then and this one. Then the last thing that I got was actually something very different for me. So on my Target journey today, I stopped in the book section as one does, and I found this poetry book. And I really don't read a lot of poetry, but this one, I, but I've, you know, I've always been interested in those, those ones that like, those popular modern poetry books that you see, but I just have never been so inclined to pick it up. But I found this one today and I just, I don't know, something about it just called to me. So I felt like I had to pick it up. And that is Break Your Glass Slippers by Amanda Lovelace. And she does a lot of poetry books. She has a few series, so it's like The Woman Are Some Kind of Magic series, which is The Princess Saves Herself in this one, which doesn't burn in this one, and then Mermaid's Voice Returns in this one. She has some other ones, and then this is a new series. The, it's the You Are Your Own Fairy Tale series, which is Break Your Glass Slippers. Um, and the description is for those who break glass slippers as well as glass ceilings. I don't know if it's just because I loved Cinderella so, so much as a child, and that story is like important to me, so I kind of want to see it rewritten in a more feminist light and just like a very emotional way. Something about it just called to me, and I like looked at the illustrations and I just feel like this book would be so so much fun to read um like we have like these pages and stuff and I feel like when I read this book or this poetry yeah it's a book um I feel like I want to read it in like a way that I read it and like there's so much space on the pages that I kind of want to write in my feelings and my reflections as I read this poetry book and I feel like that'd be a really really cool way to read a poetry book so I might even just do that this weekend in between everything else because it's not going to take me long to read but I do just like I don't know like I just feel like I read this first poem and I just think of things that like I can reflect upon with my own experiences and write about in the margins and I feel like that will make this like a very personal experience to me which I feel like poetry is supposed to be like sort of elevated to that next level of personal so I don't know. I think I, I think I might do that because I just feel like really inspired to do that and yeah I'm just happy that I'm gonna have a chance to read again because life's been crazy and also that I have a chance to organize my house because you have to know when your house is messy and you just like feel awful about it but you just don't have the energy or the will to clean it and then you finally finally just get a day to like go through everything that you need to go through and clean everything and you just feel like a new person like that is me like obviously we only moved in here like two months ago so we're starting to get to that point where like we're getting a little bit lazy on like cleaning things so i gotta get back up on my organization game so yeah with that i i need to start um preparing dinner because i'm making something in the crock pot and I will check in later with my reading progress for this weekend. Maybe I can close out this Lux vlog in this weekend, which would be Lux Consequences and the last Lux book as well, which um, that's a lot of, oh, I got more Jennifer L. Armitrad books and I didn't haul them yet. How silly of me. So I also got, I don't even know if I talked about getting this one yet, but I got the last one, which is Lux Opposition. And this is, Opposition is the last book and then there's Shadows. Um, which is a prequel novella. So this could be like pretty, pretty quick to read. I don't know, I feel like these books just read so fast. I can read them like in a day, I don't know. And then I also got the spinoff trilogy. Is it gonna be a trilogy? I don't know, there's only two out right now. But the spinoff books to the Lux 
series which is the darkest star and the burning shadow i don't know who they follow or like anything but i have them and i can read them when i finish lux but i don't know if that's going to be part of this vlog or not because i have a lot going on and with that let me get on with my day hello so it's now monday october 19th and i barely read this over the weekend because i just wasn't in the mood to read like i did read some of it i'm on page 276 and i have about 100 pages left i'm still really enjoying the series i think i'm just kind of slowing down because i'm only reading this um and i do like to binge through series but i think i need a break so when I'm going to hopefully finish the last 100 pages of this tonight and then I'm going to move on and take a break and do my Aquatar reread for my live show. That's this Saturday the 24th um, with Maddie and our guests and I'm so excited and that's going to be its own separate blog, vlog that should already be out. I'm going to be doing one per month based on each book and my feelings as I'm rereading the books. I'm so, so excited about that. But yeah, so I'm just going to probably check in once more tonight when I hopefully finish this. And then you won't be seeing the next clip for a while until I get back to this book. But I'm committed to like reading this whole series through in a vlog because I am just loving it so, so much. I just, I don't know, time has gotten away from me and I haven't been reading a super lot this month, which is fine. That's life. It happens. So see you in the next clip. So it's literally a month later now and I'm editing this vlog and I realize I never close it out. So I'm just here to say that this is the wrap up of my Reading the Lux series for the first time vlog. I just read the first three books in this vlog and I will be reading the last, I think, two books and the prequel novella in a future one of this vlog because it is an upcoming series and i actually am having the next part of the series where i read the white hot kiss trilogy for the first time on my channel on friday so with that i just hope you enjoy this installment in my reading jla series and just know that there will be more to come in the future i did tease it for a long time but it is finally here and there will be more to come, so keep an eye out for it. Have some fun, read some books, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.